All right, well, now we've moved over here to be looking at inequalities in two triangles, and which brings us to the hinge theorem and the converse of the hinge theorem. Now, the, the hinge theorem is comparing the two triangles, inequalities in two triangles, based upon side angle side. And it's stating that if you got two sides and an included angle, and if the two sides surrounding the included angle of two triangles are congruent or they are equal, but the angle measures are different, one's greater than the other, then the side opposite that included angle that has the greater angle is going to be longer than the side of the included angle that is less than. Now the converse of the hinge theorem is, uh, you could also say, is a side-side-side inequality. And it's basically saying if you've got um, sides for which an included angle would be, but the angle opposite one is longer than the other, then the triangle that has the opposite side that is longer is going to have the greater angle measure or vice versa, the lesser angle measure. So here we got a couple of examples. This comes from example one, which is on page 371 and then over on page 372 in the textbook. And we're just simply being asked to compare the given measures. And so first we've got these two triangles right here. And we're asked to compare the measures of JK and MQ. So what are we looking to try to determine? JK and MQ. Now, let's look at this left triangle here first. I can see that the two sides adjacent to angle L, here's angle L, well one of those is 12, and one of those is 15. Now let's go to the second triangle. Here I've got two sides again, 15 and 12. So I mean this side is congruent to this side and this side is congruent to this side. But you can see that my angle measures are different. In other words, angle L is greater than angle P. Now let's go back to what we're asked to compare. JK and MQ. And so in both cases, JK is opposite angle L and MQ is opposite angle P. And we know that, and we can see here that angle L is greater. And so therefore, JK is going to be greater than MQ based upon the hinge theorem. We got two adjacent sides to an included angle. The two adjacent sides are have are equal or congruent to each other, but the side opposite the included angles, one is greater than the other, uh, so therefore the, those angles are going to be greater to achieve that opposite side. Probably didn't say that like I really wanted to. We have two sides to adjacent angles. The, the sides are congruent. One angle is greater than the other. The side opposite the greater angle is going to be greater than the side opposite the lesser angle. Maybe that's a little bit better. All right, let's go down here to the bottom. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, we got a couple of triangles here. And we're asked to find, compare, I should say, the measure of angle SRT. So SRT, that's this angle right here. And we're asked to compare it to angle VRT, this angle, this angle here. Okay. All right, let's see what we know. Uh, let's look at angle R. Well, I see that one of the adjacent sides to R is eight. Now the other adjacent side, I don't have a measure, but it's also an adjacent side to this angle VRT. 
So SRT, VRT. So that's just going to equal itself. Whatever the length of that side is for both of these triangles is going to be equal to itself. And the other adjacent angle on VRT is also 8. So this is congruent. This is congruent. And, of course, this side here is going to equal itself in the case of both triangles. So now I'm looking at the sides opposite the angle. So the side opposite the angle SRT, I've got a measure of 6. And the side opposite VRT is 11. So is angle SRT going to be less than or greater than angle VRT? Anyone? 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 Well, the measure of angle SRT, as I'm sure you're shouting out in class, is going to be less than the measure of angle VRT. And that's based on the converse of the hinge theorem, which is looking at comparing side, side, side to given angles. Okay. Isn't this fun?